Hi, this is Doug for Fifth Wall TV. I'm back. I'm in a new setting. I'm in a new flat. And if you're really quiet, hopefully it's not interfering with what I'm saying. But you can, you can hear gentrification in the background. Thanks, Hackney. Anyway, today I'm here to talk about copyright in the art world. I'm going to kick things off like everything else on the internet with Kanye West. I'm going to start with this mural that was painted relatively recently by Scott Marsh in Sydney of Kanye kissing Kanye. That's so Kanye. The image that had been painted on this wall wasn't actually Scott Marsh's image, as the original image of Kanye kissing Kanye came from this illustrator, Jen Lewis, who had actually taken an image from Jason Merritt, who snapped this beautiful moment between husband and wife. So what we've got here is a series of links in a chain culminating in a point where a mural gets painted on a wall. This is a great example of how things on the internet can snowball and everyone just has a big old laugh at, well, Kanye West. That would have been great if the story ended there. However, it gets a little bit murky because allegedly Kanye West's management or team had offered Scott $100,000 to essentially buff out the work to get rid of that. We can't verify if this was actually Kanye or not that was sending this, but if it was, I mean, we can understand how the guy got into $53 million of debt. Throughout the course of this whole thing, Scott was actually selling prints of the image online, making money from it. So after getting called out, Scott did go back and add in credits where they were due, but of course, by this time, it's a dead news story. It's quite frankly, too little too late. There's enough idiots in the world out there, Scott Marsh, you don't need to be another one. Jen Lewis, continue please making the internet the wonderful, weird place that it is. And Jason, uh, carry on. Uh, good work. Next, round two, Moschino versus Rhyme. Bing, 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 bing. So this one is Brooklyn-based graffiti artist Rhyme versus Italian superstar fashion house Moschino. Now for this one, it gets really serious because in 2015 at their fashion walk runway uh, show, Moschino unveiled this dress. Nice. Uh, the only problem with this dress is that image, it looks quite familiar, doesn't it? Because back in 2012, Rhyme painted this. The annoying thing about this is guys like Jeremy Scott will get away with this because they've got the support financially and legally from the powerhouses behind the companies. And your average graffiti artist, they just don't have a chance. The annoying thing about that though is the money that they would spend in the courts trying to solve these cases could have just gone straight into the pocket of the artist and it could have been a collaboration rather than you simply ripping off someone else's work. Round three, ding, ding, ding. For this one, we're gonna go to Belgium and you may have seen this image already as it went relatively viral and it was of this mural that was painted on the side of a wall. Wow. That is a pretty great piece of dog-related street art. And that was done by the Belgian artist Smates. The problem with this one, and you can probably already see where this one's going, is the image that Smates has painted, it wasn't his. It was, in fact, an image taken by the professional photographer Karen Delabeau. This one's quite simple. It comes down to just artistic respect. If you're going to paint someone else's image on a wall, credit them. That's the least that you can do. Nine times out of ten, people are going to be really happy to see their work transfer into something new. They just simply want the same thing that you do. A little bit of respect. Just simply reach out from the start, acknowledge them, give credit, and then the world will be a much happier and healthier place artistically and culturally, economically, socially, politically. These aren't by any stretch of the imagination the only three examples. Probably the biggest one in the last 10 years was, of course, this one by Shepard Fairey. If you know that image, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, well, I'll leave a link for you at the bottom. You can do some homework for yourself. Other than that, I've been Doug for Fifth Wall. Hope to be with you guys real soon. Take care.